I spent my whole summer working in London. But first, let me take you back to May. This is when I started my first full-time 9 to 5 job in the big city. This was a brand new experience as I stepped out into the real world and began my career in consulting. My life before was completely different. There was no clear end goal apart from getting through university and I was simply living as things came. But the summer of 22 is where everything completely changed. I had to adapt to this new lifestyle and I had to do it fast. Growing up, I had pretty much every summer free to do whatever I wanted. When I first started school, probably at the age of like five or something, all the way up to last year when I just finished university, I literally had every single summer to myself to do whatever I wanted until this summer. Now this is where things just change drastically. Pretty much this whole summer I've been working 9 to 6. Basically you get given like 25 days for the whole year to take off. So yeah, it's not really a lot of days. And it's just very different. It's a very different world, very different lifestyle. But it just also means that I'm having to grow up basically. You need to be focused. You also have to travel, commute. That's when weekends become quite important. Because it's pretty much the only times you get off. So I like to spend my weekends very balanced. I'd meet up with my friends, we would try to do like an activity, enjoy the weekend. But also, I, I'm someone that really values alone time. I can't be going out and doing activities every single weekend because that will definitely just drain me. I'm someone that gets socially exhausted quite quickly. Some of my weekends I like to rotate it, literally just chill, do my own thing. And one of the things I like to do is just go to the gym. I find that the gym is very therapeutic because I just put my headphones in, I either listen to a podcast or put on my favorite playlist. Yeah, and for the next hour or hour and a half, I just focus on my workout and it kind of gets me in the zone. I just focus on myself. It's also important to have some days off when it's summer and you just see like the nice weather or something and you're always working inside on computers or whatever. Doing a nine to six, Monday to Friday, week in, week out, it can lead to burnout. Booking some days off in the diary, going on holiday, I think that's definitely helped me a lot. Our lives can be very cluttered, especially when you're working in a big city, when you're having to commute all the time, when you're having to interact with people, when you're having to lead that busy lifestyle. As fun as it might be, you still need like a little bit of a step out. Personally, I find just booking a couple of days off or a week off, going on holiday, doing something completely different has definitely helped me. It was more like a hard reset from that rigorous lifestyle. Don't get me wrong, routine is great. I think routine definitely leads to a lot of growth as well as a lot of structure but you also need to be unstructured I think when you have a lot of routine everything becomes automatic so every day just feels like the same the weeks tend to go by really quickly for me but then I realized that I'm not really like living in the moment so taking a massive step out going somewhere you've never been before doing some activities spending time with your friends spending time with your family can definitely lead to a much more healthier lifestyle also my most important thing which i've personally found that helps me have a good work-life balance it gets me through everything and kind of gives me a purpose outside of work finding a hobby that you're very interested in and setting yourself end goals for that hobby. It can literally be anything. I've talked to people that are really into art, so outside of their work, they do, they paint, they draw, they sell their paintings, they sell their drawings, and I think that's really cool because they're kind of striving to achieve something. This could also be stuff like sports or, or gym. Maybe you wanna achieve your ideal physique, so you put in the hours after work or before work, but you have that extra thing that you do outside of work, which is completely unrelated. You've got your own goals for that. For me, it's making content, making videos like this. Every day after work, I just basically get home and I look forward to making the next video for you guys. So this is something that's kind of like keeping me driven, keeping me energetic, but it can literally be anything. It doesn't have to be videos. It doesn't have to be art. It doesn't have to be the gym. It can be anything. Something that you find fun and that you've always found interesting, or even if you feel like you don't have anything, there is something that you like and you just gotta try to dig deep find that within yourself and start kind of doing it more often. I know one of my friends actually, he's really into films and comics, so he kind of makes video essays, which I think is pretty sick. Also one of my friends, he is, he did psychology at university, so he's running his own classes online, which I think is really cool. So yes, it can feel like a lot of work, especially when you're balancing a job, but if you really like it, then it doesn't feel like work. Keep you really motivated and that you've got something to look forward to and you've got that final goal 
that you have in your mind that you want to achieve if that makes sense but now as we close in on summer it really got me thinking for all my life going from school and university i've always had the luxury of having my summers off and really doing whatever i want whether that be hanging out with my friends going on holiday or just doing nothing but it's all changed completely there's no more full summer holidays i have to select which days i want off from a limited amount it really was a luxury before. I knew this day would one day come, but I didn't know it would be this different. But I guess this is a part of adulting. So for the first time in my life, I spent all of my summer working in London. And as we close in on this quarter and make our way into autumn, I finally began this brand new chapter. <laughs>